Hi there, my name is Rob Diaz Marino and I'm a summer intern here at the University of Calgary. The project that I'm working on is the Diamond Touch extension for the SDG Toolkit. The work I have done so far has been to develop a toolkit that allows programmers to rapidly prototype applications that utilize the multi-user multi-touch capabilities that the Diamond Touch provides. Let me show you just how easy it is to use the Diamond Touch functionality in your applications. In VisualStudio.net, just add a DT Manager component to your form. Then all that's left to do is hook up your event handler so that your application can listen for user input. When contact is first made with the surface, the touch down event is fired. Moving a single point of contact across the surface triggers the touch max move event. Breaking contact with the surface causes the touch up event. Finally, when the bounding box around multiple points of contact shifts or changes size, a touch box move event is fired. In approximately 15 lines of code, we were able to program this multi-user drawing application we call Squiggle Draw. Each user can vary the thickness of their lines simply by spreading their fingers apart. Here, the line thickness is controlled simply as a function of the size of the bounding box. In addition, we programmed this simple game of tic-tac-toe with the same amount of ease. For more complex applications like this picture matching game, it was possible for us to recognize special gestures such as the ones used to flip and resize the cards. This gave the players a greater feeling of direct manipulation while interacting with the game. The remainder of this video will deal with Soundboard, an interactive music visualization program which we created with the Group Lab Diamond Touch Toolkit. It serves as an example of how an easy-to-use toolkit package allows more creative freedom for the programmer rather than bogging them down in low-level details. Unlike many music visualizations, Soundboard actually affects certain aspects of the music playback through its interactivity. The song that you hear now is divided up into four counterpoints, each of which is associated with a sphere on the screen. For instance, I can grab the sphere that's associated with the percussion and pen it to the left and right by moving it in those respective directions. If I move the sphere away from me, the percussion grows softer. It becomes louder again as I move it back toward me. The track can be muted entirely by dragging the sphere outside of the central rectangle. Up to four different users can interact in this way while holding multiple spheres simultaneously.